There is a very special organization that has been devoting significant effort and investment into the promotion of science and technology and tertiary education in Trinidad and Tobago. For over three decades, NIHIRS, the National Institute of Higher Education Research, Science and Technology, has cut new trails and bridged important gaps in the country's development in these areas. Its many pioneering initiatives have provided new avenues for the advancement of a diversified, knowledge-based economy fueled by the creative abilities of all citizens. In the early 1970s, the government of Trinidad and Tobago recognized the need to restructure and rationalize the tertiary education sector and build capacity for research and development, paying particular attention to scientific and technological advances that were beginning to radically change and drive the global economy. The establishment of Nihist in 1984 was to be the central pillar in that restructuring. I would say the entire period of Nihus's existence has been, you know, finding niches that were not in any way competing with anybody else. In the 1980s, the Institute funded research undertaken by postgraduate students at the University of the West Indies, based on national needs and priorities and with the potential for commercialization. This included pioneering work in biotechnology such as plant tissue culture and microbial pest control, enhanced oil recovery, animal feed from bagasse and microelectronics for the manufacturing sector. The one thing I think it's important to acknowledge is that the people in Nihus who were there almost from inception and who grew with the institutions were very dedicated, both, of, both to the institution called Nihurst and secondly to the idea of Nihurst as a catalyst for development in things that were important to the development process, such as higher education, such as quality education, such as science and technology and its impact not only on education but on the society. And that commitment to these very, very important things that are being recognized more and more as being essential to growth and development remained in the institutions with these people and basically they were able to inculcate a culture of appreciation and respect for these kinds of things in the institutions over the years, Nihurst also played a critical and leadership role in the education sector, from laying the foundation for a well-coordinated accreditation system to new methodologies for foreign language teaching, the training of health professionals and introducing computer education in the nation's schools. But perhaps the most visible and significant achievement in tertiary education was the establishment of the College of Science, Technology and Applied Arts of Trinidad and Tobago, COSTAT, in the year 2000, widening access to quality higher education for many nationals. In 1989, Nihurst pioneered its Science Popularization Initiative. The Institute inherited from the Ministry of Education a traveling science popularization exhibit named Yapolo, an Amerindian word for discover. I felt that that project fitted beautifully into our mandate according to the law in science and technology to promote science and technology and that was one way I felt and it was an excellent way of promoting science and getting kids interested in science because that is where you really need to start anything. You start in something, it needs to start at the earliest level. The Apollo project became more popular in the communities it toured and in 1997 Nihus was able to establish an exhibit site, the National Science Center, in partnership with its main corporate sponsor, the National Gas Company. With funding from the Caribbean Development Bank, Nihus also took Yapolo on tour in the Caribbean region. Since then, the Institute has considerably enhanced the Science Center and has also developed a wide range of science education outreach programs. 
This science popularization approach places emphasis on highly engaging visitor-friendly exhibits that make the abstract more concrete and accessible to all, presenting scientific knowledge outside of the classroom in entertaining ways that appeal to non-scientists and also capture the imagination of young people. As a regional leader in science popularization, Nihus has reached out to Trinidad and Tobago's Caribbean neighbors to share its experience and knowledge in developing the innovative abilities of students and creating an inventive and scientific culture in the region. The Caribbean Youth Science Forum is a much-anticipated annual event on NIHIS agenda, attracting close to 200 sixth-form students from across the region during the August vacation for a week of lectures, field trips, cultural activities and interaction with top local and international scientists and engineers, inspiring them to pursue studies in emerging fields. Perhaps the most spectacular of NIHIS flagship programs is the biennial Science and Technology Festival, SciTechnoFest. Launched in 1997, the festival, which runs for about two weeks, features cutting-edge exhibits and a techno theatre with local and international science shows and demonstrations. NIHIST has also made the extra effort to spread the joy of learning science to underserved communities across Trinidad and Tobago through its Community Science Weeks. Other initiatives are specifically geared to developing creativity and supporting the development of a national innovation system. The Prime Minister's Awards for Scientific Ingenuity encourages persons from all walks of life to be more innovative and inventive with science and technology. And the Nihist Awards for Excellence in Science and Technology ensure that Trinidad and Tobago's top scientists, here or abroad, are given the visibility and recognition they deserve, especially as the country seeks to inspire many more of its citizens to build on our rich scientific heritage. The, the legacy of Nihist is a very rich one for Trinidad and Tobago. The whole world is becoming a world of innovation. Science and technology is our life. We are living in an information age where if you are not technology savvy, you, you will most definitely be left behind. And therefore, this underscores the importance of NIHUS and its effort to encourage involvement in science technology, innovation, and also scientific research. The Institute has indeed come a long way since its formal inception in 1984, overcoming many challenges along the way, and it is poised for a future that looks even brighter. We are looking at a science policy. Trinidad and Tobago, we have done well in that we have had training, you know, at skills training. We have a lot of university training. The next level is research and development. We need to solve problems, create new products, you know, and make industries better, etc. And this is where the science and technology policy, in it, we're looking at actually two things, two serious sort of um, issues. One is the integration, and secondly is the R&D fund. We don't have an R&D fund now. All developed countries' R&D range from two to four percent. Ours is below 0.1 percent. And we understand that, I mean, it's not been critical. We have to grow. You have to crawl before you walk, before you run. It has taken over two decades since the birth in 1989 of the Apollo Traveling Science Exhibition and almost 20 years since the opening of the temporary National Science Center in Dabadi. But finally, the dream of a world-class facility for fun, interactive learning of science and technology is about to be realized in Nihar's Science City at Indian Trail, Kuva. We hope by moving to the Science City in Kuva, which is 52 acres of land, uh, in it would be a science center, immersive science center, and also high-tech labs. The idea there is for the Science City to be like a mini Silicon Valley. I know it sounds presumptuous, but it can't be done. You have one spot, you need to get a critical mass of artists, of engineers, scientists, right? Business people in one spot in close proximity to each other to generate the ideas, to get a kind of, um, you know, upper spiral. And that's what we hope Science City will do. The other phases will be like high-tech labs. 
right, where we're looking at emergent technologies. They come down, you know, it's just there, so it, it comes down, the idea is similar to our science part. From high-tech stuff, it comes down to the business, to, to, to diffuse it out. The management and staff of Nihis continue their journey, committed to enlightening the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the world by fostering a strong national culture of science, technology and innovation in the hearts and minds of all citizens.